Ooh, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Tech Solutions. Today is Monday, February 10th, and it's time to have an amazing day. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about position size and how by watching your position size when entering an overall position, especially as a day trader, it can make it so much easier for you to be able to understand when to enter, when to exit, and when to cut losses. So again, this is just an example, it's a concept. The numbers, the percentages that I share with you are based off of what I'm comfortable putting up when it comes down to position. So don't focus so much on the exact percentage and please focus so much more on the idea behind it. So I call this the three stages of a position size. This is again a follow-up video. So this is in a sense part two from a previous video that I made of three stages of a reversal. Uh, a lot of you guys resonated very well with that example and a lot of you guys agreed. So I hope that this video just gets you one step closer to your overall day trading goal. So I'm a big believer that uh, you know when you're fully invested, so use this as an example. You know I trade with a little bit over $30,000. Uh, so I don't know if I'm the best example for that, but I'm gonna use the example of trading with $1,000. So let's say that you have $1,000 in your account. What I'm here to share with you is when you're trading with $1,000 and that's all you have in your account and you enter with a 10% position size, just imagine that. Think about the last time that you struggled to cut losses. Were you fully invested? Were things going south for you? Meaning that were things selling off, you were fully invested, you were averaging down. How horrible does that feel, right? When the overall direction is not in your favor and things are going south. And because, and think about this, and because you are fully invested, so again, using the $1,000 example, if I only have $1,000 in my account and I'm fully invested and things are going south, a lot of people like myself can hesitate to cut losses. Why? Because there's more emotions you know, in place and it makes sense, right? It, it sucks, it's unfortunate, but it makes sense. So one of the things that I wanted to share with you is a big area of opportunity for myself has always been risk management. So one of the ideas that I wanna share with you, one of the concepts is, by watching your position size, especially on reversals, which is something that I trade very often, can make it that much easier for you to actually manage your risk. So think about it this way. When you're about to enter a position, th these are the things that we agree that are the three stages of reversal. When something is selling off, this is viewed as a high risk. When this overall stock is beginning to find a support, we're seeing consolidation, it's a potential support. It doesn't mean that it has to go up, but this is what I would view as a medium risk. There's times during stage two of a potential reversal that I might enter with a fraction. So again, if I trade with $1,000, I would enter with maybe $100 or $200. It's just a fraction of my overall account size, right? And then when things actually begin to go in my favor and higher highs are being made and money is being made, then this is when I can slowly add more to my position size as it makes sense, right? You know, it would not make sense to have any money invested here. This is, this is what I like to call the waiting phase okay so when things are selling off we're we're always instructed you know uh, from a very early age that it's always like buy the dip you know buy at the lowest price point what does that even mean we don't know what the lowest price point of something is something can continue to sell off so I think that's a really big misconception but when we begin to see signs of a potential support so let me give you a real example and this is why i have this here so one of the etfs that i traded today was labd so i made 200 dollars again it's not a ton of money and i get that but it's just the example and i had a lot of fun trading this and the reason why is labd was at highs of 12 dollars. it began to pull back and it was selling off you know it was selling off it was getting rejected by the ema line and then what we got to is Based off of previous support levels, so again, doing a little technical analysis, looking at how it performed on Friday, because today's Monday. So based off of its performance on Friday, it had a previous support range right around 1170. So as we approached 1170, I was trading live with the Learn Plan Profit Group as I do every morning, and I was just like, hey, I see a potential reversal opportunity. I see, you know, some upside potential. So from 10 uh, or 1170, you know, looking at LABD and looking back at $12, that offers 2.5%, that's huge as a day trade. I saw value in that. I didn't expect it to go all the way back up there. All I saw was based off of previous support levels, it could find a support here. So as it began to consolidate and there was some indication of a support being made, this is what I would view as stage two. This is when you know something is consolidating, when I would view this to be a medium risk. And why is it viewed as at a, at a medium risk? There's always some form of risk involved, right? There's never such a thing as a perfect trade. So as this thing is beginning to find a support, again, using the example that if I trade with $1,000, 
I would enter with a 10% position size. Let me give you a real world example. I trade with $30,000. So what I decided to do is when this thing was at 1170 around that general area, I added 100 shares, which is about $1,000. That's about 1 30th of a normal position size for me. And then as things began to pick up, I added more and then added more. And then once we got to the middle VWAP, I saw that it was indicating signs of a resistance and then I locked in profits. It sold back off again, approaching the previous support level. It broke back up, up. I added more to my position size, added more, added more, began to indicate signs of a reversal or a resistance, and then I locked in profits, and then I walked away with $203. The idea that I wanna share with you is that when you see signs of a potential reversal, nothing is ever certain, right? So just because it's found a support level here before, doesn't mean that it has to bounce. Patterns tend to repeat themselves, they don't have to. And the idea that I'm trying to share with you is, if you're so eager to enter a reversal, right? Which again, a lot of day traders do. It all comes at some form of risk. I, at least in my experience, the whole point of this concept is to make it so much easier for you to manage your risk. And, and the idea that I want to share with you is ask yourself the last time that you hesitated to cut losses. Was it because of how much money you had on the line? Very little, simple question that you can answer. So what is one step that you can do that can get you one step closer to becoming better at managing risk. First of all, it's never gonna be easy, right? But what's one thing that you can implement that can make it a little bit easier for you to manage your risk? One of the things that I would like to share with you is at least in my experience, watching my position size and not entering so aggressive when I see signs of a potential reversal has had a huge factor, has played a huge role in my success as a day trader. Because if I do enter with 10%, so again, using the example of trading with $1,000, and if I enter a position with $100, again, with a one-tenth, that's just an example, and if things do begin to go south, I'm only in with $100 in comparison to you know $1,000. Therefore, if things go south and it's selling off, I can quickly cut losses because the dollar amount that I'm losing is so minute. There's a break of pattern and I can focus on what's important and manage my risk, right? So also if things go according to plan and it begins to actually make higher highs and I begin to make money, then I can slowly add more to my position size because again, it would then begin to make sense. All I'm trying to share with you is if you're someone that has struggled with reversals or that has struggled when it comes down to position size and managing risk, I really hope that by watching your position size and understanding the idea behind a reversal and the three different stages that I want to share with you can get you at least one step closer to becoming better at day trading reversals, but as well as managing risk. Because when you're focusing on what's important, so when I entered at 11.70 with $1,000 or 100 shares, it was so minute to me, right? It was a dollar amount that, it's not that I didn't care for it, it's that I'm just stretching in the morning, right? As a day trader, we are challenged every single day to seek opportunity. So the way that I view it is, this is the last idea that I wanna share with you. Now I'm gonna get back to eating my Chipotle and you can get back with your day but drop a like if you agree. So what I'm here to share with you is, I feel like so many beginners, as they're still learning how to trade, are trying to make money or make it or break it. The, the analogy that I wanna share with you is, I view the process of learning how to trade to be an example of, you know like a professional athlete, let's use basketball as an example. When you're ready to make money, that's like you playing a real game and you're playing against a competing team, right? But when you're learning how to make money, when you're learning how to trade, that's like practice. That's like practice for these professional basketball players. So do you see professional basketball players, like would it make sense for them trying to make it or break it or hurt themselves during this practice? No, during practice, what is the goal? When you're practicing something, when you're learning about something, when you're practicing basketball, your goal is to try new things, test different potential working systems. You know, to not be afraid to make mistakes because mistakes will be made. To get to a point where you're not a perfect basketball player, so you're not a perfect trader, but you work towards getting as close to perfect as possible. So when you're actually playing a game, so when you're actually ready to start trading to make money, you're experienced enough and you're aware of what works for you and what doesn't, period.
So all I'm here to empower you to do is that as you're learning how to trade, if you begin to make money, that's a cherry on top. That's great, it should not be the goal. The goal when you're learning how to trade is to learn how to trade. So focus on what's important. It's not about trying to make it or break it. It's not trying to go all in and hope that it goes according to plan. Don't put yourself in a position that will discourage you. Think about it big picture. And this is the last message that I wanna share with you. You know, Do something today that your future self will thank you for. So instead of trying to make it or break it or trying to you know, keep up and, and, and day trade you know, very aggressive moving stocks, how about you learn how to walk before you run? How about you actually focus on what makes sense to you and then you scale from there? Because we have nothing but time and there's no reason for you to try to, again, do something that is gonna overall discourage you and put you in a position where you never wanna pursue this again. At least that's the last message that I wanna share with you. So I really hope that I earned your thumbs up. I hope that the concept of the three stages of a position size uh, is something that you see value in. And if you guys wanna download this PDF, it's gonna be available for you for free in that first link down below. Again, don't forget to subscribe. We just uh, are about to break 700,000 subscribers. So I really appreciate everything it is that you guys do. Don't forget to join our free investing group. That's gonna be that second link down below. And if you guys wanna watch me trade live in the stock market as early as tomorrow, that's gonna to be that third link down below. So click that third link and inform yourself a little bit more about the Learn Plan Profit Group and to see if it's a good fit for you. Like always guys, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.